Hello everyone. <coughs> so uh, today we uh, uh, we will talk about the first uh, assignments for your uh, financial accounting module, and after that uh, we will uh, cover whatever is in your assignment one. But of course, uh, this lecture is not uh, enough uh, to uh, cover or complete your assignments. Right? So I will try to, uh, first I will, I will speak about your assignments, and then later I will start with your learning outcome one. All right? uh, my teaching strategies uh, for this module will be same like as your previous module, uh, which was uh, management accounting, all right? And in addition, in order to uh, study this module, please remember your principle of accounting module contents. Whatever you have studied in your principle of accounting, uh, that's going to be much more useful uh, for uh, this uh, module, which is financial accounting. Right. So let's uh, let's start with the uh, with the assignments, right? And hopefully um, uh, this week, today's Friday, so probably this week is not possible. But next week, uh, Monday or Tuesday, I will send you assignments. And my next video or next lecture. Uh, will we uh, talk about your assignment? But it, it depends what we can cover in today's lecture. All right. So if something is left, then I will cover in the next video. And in next video, I will also start discussing discussing your your assignments. And uh, in addition, uh, if uh, if you, uh, I really uh, highly suggest you to uh, look at. Uh, watch these videos and whatever I cover in this video make sure you focus on that right? and, uh, and, uh, and then next week I may not make a, another video but I can do, do the uh, um, online meeting with you through the zoom app all right so we, we will see how we go right? but, but let, let me finish uh, this um, uh, topic Learning outcome one, and then we will move on to assignments. But sure, every Monday or Tuesday you will receive your uh, assignment one. All right. So let's uh, talk about your assignment. <coughs> of course, your assignments. You have um, two parts of your assignment. Right. Assignment one. Assignment one cover your two learning outcomes, all right? Learning outcome one and learning outcome two, all right? Learning outcome one is about um, record business transactions using double entry system all right in this double entry system you gonna prepare journal entries account I hope you remember from your principal of accounting and trial balance all right so please note that in this learning outcome one you have two tasks task one and task two so journal entry cover task one, all right? And trial balance and T accounts 
cover task two. Uh, yep. General entry, T accounts, and trial balance. You have a total things in your uh, learning outcome one. And in learning outcome one, you have two tasks, task one and task two. Task, uh, two. Of course, learning outcome one is combination of calculation plus discussion or, or theory. Means explanations, both in your Task one and task two. All right. Now move on to task two. Task two is about prepare final accounts. All right. Journal ledger, trial balance, and uh, final accounts. Of course, we have source documents as well. So, uh, in this um, final accounts, you have to do two things. One is an adjustment, adjustment, and then on the after adjustment, you will prepare final accounts. Right, using the trial balance, we, we, we're going to make some adjustment, and then after making some adjustment, we're going to prepare final accounts. Right? <clears throat> so this final accounts, of course, is a combination of income statement or profit and loss accounts and balance sheet. All right. So your learning outcome two cover two tasks. Task three and task four. All right. So the idea is in your assignment one, you have four tasks. Task one, two, three, and four. So you have total four tasks in your assignment one. Alright? Now move on to assignment two. <coughs> assignment two, uh, you have two learning outcomes. Learning outcome three, so this is learning outcome. Learning outcome one, learning outcome two, learning outcome three and four. Learning outcome three is about bank reconciliation statement. We call it BRS. Right? And learning outcome four is about control accounts. And Removal of suspense accounts. Right? Control accounts and removal of suspense accounts. So, in your assignment two, you have two learning outcomes and you have only two tasks. Right? So, Task five task five and task six. Alright? So you have two tasks in your assignment two. Alright? So total for this module you have Six tasks. So we will cover all the learning outcomes or the content of each task in the class. And once I finish 
any learning outcome and then I will directly move on to the assignments and of course after assignments I will give you outline like as the previous uh, previous semester for management accounting all right so for today we will study about learning outcome one all right I will give you informations about journals and T accounts I think we cannot cover uh, trials. I'm not sure about T accounts too because I have to give you some other information right but I will try to cover in today's lecture general and um, T accounts and in next lecture I will cover trial balance and the uh, final accounts adjustments uh, with the final accounts All right so if anything is unclear to you, uh, please send me email or so I can conduct another live session uh, for you next week. Right. So now we uh, move on to the uh, assignments. I mean, sorry, uh, the assignments or the learning outcome. Okay. <coughs> So in learning outcome one, we'll talk about um, accounting. The subject is financial accounting, but we need to know what is the meaning of uh, accounting. You know that you already studied a um, couple of subjects about uh, accounting. Uh, so accounting means identifying, measuring, and communicating information among users, right? So main idea is, it's a process of recording information that company provides to the users, right? So, accounting is Identifying, measuring, and communicating among users. All right. Now the question is, who are the users? Users are the people who use financial information for what? For decision making. That you know that. All right. So I will not spend too much time on the types of users because you already studied in your uh, management account. All right. So I'll go a little bit fast here. So users, we have uh, two types of users. We have internal and External internal users and external users. Right? So management accounting provides information to the internal and financial accounting provides information to the external. So of course we focus more on financial accounting. All right. So, so it's a now. What is financial accounting? Financial accounting is a process of preparing accounts. All right. So, what is the process? All right. So, process is a combination of five different steps source documents journal ledger trial balance and final accounts all right that is we call it accounting cycle or accounting process so if you want to prepare accounts 
We, we know that. We prepare accounts, right? So, question is, how to prepare accounts? Because in, in previous management accounting subjects, you also learned that why we prepare accounts. Of course, we prepare accounts for the, for the users, internal and externals, right? Now, the question is how we prepare accounts for the external uh, users, right? <clears throat> so, using a accounting cycle, we prepare accounts. Right? So it's a combination of five different uh, steps. So the first step is a source document. Source documents. Second one is a journal. Third one is a ledger or T accounts. Ledger or T accounts. Fifth, uh, fourth one is a trial balance. <clears throat> and fifth one is a final account. So that is your accounting cycle, right? That is your accounting cycle. Accounting cycle, all right? So let's start with the uh, source documents. Now, what is Source documents. Source documents means any kinds of information, any kinds of edit and uh, initial information, transactions, whatever is occur. That's called the transactions. For example, so the example of source documents could be a, uh, let's say, company. Let's say, uh, company purchase. Raw material. All right, company purchase raw material. That's called the source documents. All right, initial information. Purchase raw material, purchase assets, sold assets, sold product. All right, pay rent, pay salary, pay wages, receive dividend, pay dividend, receive interest, pay interest. Any kinds of transaction occur in either organizations. That's called the source document. Right, so it's basically the evidence of the transactions that occur. Right? So once transaction occur, then now we have to record or enter that transaction in company accounts. Right? So the next is a journal. So whatever source document or transaction occur, we have to enter in company accounts. So what does it mean, journals? Journal means, uh, it's a, another name of journal is a, it's a book of prime entry, all right? It's a book of prime entry. So means is basically, it's a second step. But you can say that it's a basically first step to entry information in company accounts using debit and credit. All right? It's basically the, the first book in which we enter the information using the word debit and credit. You already studied in your uh, <coughs> principle of accounting that debit and credit stuff, right? But you also studied how to make journal entries. But here, I will repeat again in case you do not understand something or you missed something in your uh, principle of accounting class, 
right? So, uh, journal. So, so in journals, you have to use debit and credit. Debit and credit works to enter information. So debit, the short form or abbreviations of debit is a DR, right? And credit is CR, right? So, for example, purchase raw material one hundred dollar, right? Purchase raw material one hundred dollar. Uh, what is the journal entry for for uh, this transaction? You can pause the video for ten seconds and then you can uh, you can make a journal entries and then restart and then you can check the answer. Right. So the journal entry is a so purchase raw material one hundred dollar. We assume that purchase raw material on cash, right? So debit raw material, debit raw material accounts one hundred dollar, and credit cash accounts one hundred. Some of you already know that why debit raw material and why credit raw material and some of you may not understand that why this one debit or why this one is credit. So in order to understand how to make journal entries, I'm going to show you some steps. If you already know journal entries, that's really good. You follow the way that you already studied in your principle of accounting. If you did not understand or you forgot how to make journal entry, so uh, I'm gonna give you the easiest way to recognize or to, to prepare the journal entry. Right? So you're gonna follow some some steps to, to complete the journal entry. Right? <coughs> steps. Right. So the step one is a find find accounts whatever transactions you have you have to find the accounts what accounts is it what type of account is it Alright, I will explain in this step. Second one is a find whether these accounts increase or decrease. Like for example, purchase raw material by cash. So we have two accounts here. One is a raw material, second one is a Cash, right? So step one is find account. So we already found two accounts: cash and, and uh, raw material, right? Now check this cash increase or decrease. When you purchase raw material, cash decrease, right? When we purchase raw material, raw material increased. Right, so step two is find whether this account increase or decrease. <clears throat> step three is convert this increase decrease into debit credit. All right? Increase could be debit or credit, or decrease could be debit and credit. I will explain later that. 
why we find is it debit or is it credit, right? So increase, decrease, debit, credit, right? Now, number four, complete, complete each other entry. Third entry is purchase, so debit, raw material, credit, uh, cash, all right, 100, 100. So this is the ideas to, um, to prepare general entry, all right. Now, I'll show you how to find accounts, all right. So, remember, Accounts is a combination of five things. I mean, five five different kinds of accounts we have. <clears throat> we have assets. We have liability. We have equity. We have income, profit. We have expense okay, or loss. All the transaction in financial accounting lies between these five accounts. Nothing out of that. Everything in accounting exists here. Right? Whatever. It could be assets, it could be liabilities, it could be equities, it could be income. Uh, a profit or it could be expense or loss nothing out of that right so you have to find it accounts first right in order to find accounts of course you need to understand what inside assets what inside liability what inside equity what inside income or profit and what inside expense or loss? Of course, you need to. So, my next part will be more detail about assets, liability, and equity because income expense, you know that because you already studied in your management accounting, but I will keep very fast or quick glance over income and expense. So, now uh, assets, all right? So, <clears throat> So remember, assets increase. So remember, assets increase means debit. Assets decrease credit. Right, so that's the meaning of convert, increase, decrease into debit or credit. Right. Liability increase, credit decrease, debit. Right. Equity increase, credit decrease, debit. Income or profit always have a credit nature it has a credit nature like as assets as a debit nature liability credit nature equity credit nature similarly income or profit has credit nature All right, so income always credit expense has a debit nature, expense or loss has a debit nature. So you have to remember that's kind of uh, simple uh, rule in order to complete uh, step three. Right, thus, convert increase decrease into 
increase, decrease into the entry. Right? And then we will complete the general entry. So now you have to find out what inside assets, liability, equity, income, expense, like this. For example, purchase rent. I'm oh, sorry, uh, purchase raw material. All right? Buy raw material is your expense. Like you studied in your management accounting. Expense means cost, right? You study about manufacturing cost, non-manufacturing cost, all right? Manufacturing cost is a combination of material, labor and overhead. So buying raw material is your cost, is your expense, all right? So expense debit, that's why raw material debit. You have to find out cash is assets, liability, equity, income profit, or expense loss. Find accounts. Right? What do you think? What is cash? Pause this video for 10 seconds and you think about it and then you start again. So cash, of course, cash is your assets. That's your assets, all right? And cash, when you purchase raw material, your cash will decrease. Cash decrease. Cash means assets decrease. That's why it's credit, all right? So you have to understand that what inside assets, liability, equity, all right? Income is the revenue, sales, right? and cost is the expense of cost or any kind of loss. That is. So now I'm gonna tell you what inside uh, assets, right? What inside assets? And then I will explain you all these points. Then I will come back to the uh, steps for general entry. I will give you some. I will write some uh, some randoms, uh, transaction or source document, and then you will make that uh, 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 general entry. Right, so in our next live session, you can ask me questions about the answer of that and all kinds of uh, online um, uh, transactions. Right? So move on to the next. So I'm going to tell you <clears throat> so I'm going to tell you assets, start with assets. Assets is a combination of two things. I mean, two types of assets. Current assets and fixed assets or non-current assets. Fixed assets or non-current assets. Current asset is an asset that we can quickly convert into cash. All right? And Non-current assets, of course, we cannot uh, quickly convert into cash without significant losing its, its value. So that's called the fixed assets or non-current assets. Now, what inside current assets? Current assets involve cash.
accounts receivable inventory or closing inventory and prepaid expense prepaid expense so these are um, the examples of current assets you know accounts receivable account receivable are those people to whom we sell our product on credit right or in other words we can say that uh, account receivable are those people from whom we have to receive money we call them account receivable all right inventory or closing inventory now what does it mean closing inventory the inventory which is left at the end of the period you already know that because you study how to calculate cost of goods sold in your management account opening closing so on all right and prepaid expense prepaid expense is an expense we already paid in advance we call the prepaid expense such as uh, anything any kind of expense we paid in advance like as uh, school fees i mean tuition fee for schools or um, rent right or prepaid mobile phone recharge right so that's kind of uh, things are are the prepaid expense and these are the current liability all right so now move on to the uh, fixed sorry current assets now move on to the uh, fixed assets there are two types of uh, fixed assets <clears throat> first fixed assets we call tangible tangible fixed assets and intangible tangible fixed assets and intangible fixed assets tangible fixed assets are those fixed assets that we can see we can touch all right intangible we can't see we can't touch all right so tangible fixed assets involve land and building plant and machinery explain you what what is that for me to Livestock means sometimes in some business, uh, people use animals, right, to to do business, all right. So that's we also call it biological assets. Like as some people may use plants and trees in the business, all right. So that's kind of things are part of the uh, livestock. Next one is a uh, uh, furniture. Of course, we have table chairs and so on. and some kind of tools to fix the assets that's also belongs to assets so these kinds of assets are the um, tangible assets right next is a uh, intangible assets intangible assets involve logo or any kinds of trademark logo or trademark that is your uh, intangible assets right next could be a uh, any kinds of investment depositing cash and so on 
catch, catch his hair. Uh, so next one could be a um, brand name, right? Yeah, brand name, logo, trademarks. Goodwill. Goodwill uh, could be your intangible assets. Is goodwill represent the, the, the credibilities of the organizations? All right. And why people, particular um, customers choose that particular kind of product because that 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 company has a goodwill in the markets. Goodwill could be could be customer satisfactions, could be uh, reliabilities, could be delivery or anything. That's give really positive impacts uh, on the on the customers. So customers really go to that kind of uh, company to buy the product, right? So that's that's our mainly uh, intangible assets. So these are type of assets. So now we move back here. So cash. So as I said, that assets. So cash is assets, right? Cash is assets here. So that's why cash decrease, cash will be credited. Alright? So that is the asset. So now we move on to the liability. Liabilities. Liability is a combination of two kinds of uh, liabilities. Current liability. And fixed liability. So current liability. Current liability involves accounts payable. Accounts payable are those people to whom you have to pay money. To those you have to pay money. We call them accounts payable. For example, you purchase raw material on credit means supplier already supply your material but you haven't paid it. Maybe you pay next month, next week, or next six months. So that account, that supplier will become your accounts payable. Alright, so you can't say that purchase raw material, raw material increase in cash, cash decrease. No, you can't say that. Alright, so that will become your accounts paying a person. Right. <clears throat> Next one could be a um, dividend. Could be a tax. So these kinds of uh, liabilities companies are liable to pay in the short term. Uh, I forgot to tell you what is the meaning of current liability. Current liability is a liability that we need to pay off within a year. All right. So the due date is a maximum one year. Now fixed liability. Fixed liability involves uh, any kinds of liability that we pay off in a long period. Of time. You can write one more example if you want. This one is a short term bank loan. Right? Short term bank loan. So short term bank loan means we borrow from bank for shorter period of time. Maximum one one year. Right? That's also bank loan. Mm -hmm. That's also current liability.
Now next is the long term bank loan. Company borrowed money from bank for longer period of time and the company have to pay interest. Year by year. Alright. So that bank loan is your liability or fixed liability. Alright? Next is a Equity, we also call your shareholders money, the people sh as a shareholder invested in the organization. Whatever is left, that belongs to equity. So, uh, sometimes we call it, it's a residual interest, which means whatever is left. Whatever is left means assets minus liability. Whatever is left is, is, is become uh, uh, equity. Alright? So, here I will not go in more detail, but uh, equity involve two things one is a share we call it share capital stocks right share capital share company sell share to get money this is called shares selling shares right and next retain earning retain earning is Whatever money left at the end, after paying everything, whatever is left, that's whatever is left, of course, is retained earning. Whatever is left, that belongs to equity. Right? That's the meaning of retained earning. Whatever is left after paying everything, after paying direct cost, indirect cost, and non operating expenses such as interest, uh, tax, and and, and dividend, dividend for preferred shareholders, dividend for common shareholders, and after being everything, whatever money is left, that's called a retainer name, right? So, uh, these are the types of um, assets, liabilities, and what inside the equity, so make sure you know that, right? <clears throat> now, we go back to the uh, general entry, all right? So let me write down some more general entries, then I'll, I'll explain you how to do it. And then finally, I'll give you some, some five or six general entries to practice at home. All right? So what is purchase rent? Next is a, um, let's say, sold, Product on credit fifty dollars. Right? Next is sold product on credit fifty dollars. Right? Next is a next is a okay let me write down this one depreciation on machine Right. 
So here we have five journal entries. The first one is a purchase raw material, $100. Sold product on credit, $50. Paid rent, $50. Borrow from bank, $1,000. And depreciation on machine, $100. All right. So now we're going to make journal entry following uh, these steps. All right. So let's start with the one. First journal entry. First, you know that purchase rent, one uh, sorry, purchase raw material, one hundred dollars. Right? We already made it. Debit raw material and credit cash. Debit raw material, credit cash. Raw material accounts. Keep in your mind one thing that when we are making a general entry, debit write first and then credit. Don't write credit cash and debit raw material. No, always debit the item which is debited. We write that item first. So debit credit, not credit debit. Alright? Keep in your mind this thing. Right? If you make credit cash, debit raw material, I will I will I, I won't give you marks for it. I will cross it. Alright, so it's wrong. So write debit item first and then uh, credit item. Alright, keep in your mind. So debit raw material, credit cash. Amount is 100. So make sure you write amounts. That's your general entry. That's the complete general entry. Of course, we have to make uh, uh, some kinds of uh, narrations here, but you don't have to. Number two is now sole product on credit. All right? So find accounts. First of all, sole product own credit. Sole product. Sole product means selling product. Is it assets? Is it liability? Is it equity? Is it income profit? Or is it expense loss? Sales. Selling product means sales. Sales means revenue. Revenue means income. All right. So first account is sales or revenue. Sales product. You can say that sales product account or sales account. Own credit. Now what does it mean? Sales product own credit, which means we sold product to the customer, but customer did not pay us money. Do not pay cash right now. That customer may pay cash later. So which means that customer will become a accounts receivable because account receivable are those people from whom we have to receive money we have to receive cash that's called the accounts receivable all right that's called the account receivable so second account is a accounts receivable we already find the accounts. Next, find these accounts increase or decrease. Sales, when you sell product, your sales increase. If you sell product on credit, which means your account receivable also increase. Because if customer pay less, account receivable list will increase. List of the people who are in the uh, 
people in the, in, in the list of account receivable will increase too, right? So account receivable increase. So now we check sales increase. Income always has a credit nature. So one thing confirmed: sales will be credit. So credit sales accounts and debt of course debit will be account receivable but we check again why account receivable debt because account receivable increase and account receivable is your assets so account receivable increase means it will be debit debit accounts receivable accounts Amount is fifty dollars. Amount is fifty dollars. All right. That is your second journal entry. All right. That is your second journal entry. Now move on to the third journal entry. Which is depreciation. Alright? Now, before I start uh, doing this uh, journal entry, I'm going to tell you what is the meaning of depreciation. I already explained you in the, in the management academy class, uh, but I, I repeat again what is depreciation? Depreciation means um, when the value of assets goes down over the period of time, that's called the depreciation. All right. So remember, depreciation is your expense. Right? Why? Because when you do management accounting, remember, uh, in management accounting, like you did overheads. If depreciation on the plant assets, that's become overhead. If depreciation on office assets, that's become a non manufacturing cost. So, which means depreciation is your expense. One thing is clear. So, which means depreciation will be debit. One thing clear. Right? Now, so depreciation debit, what will be credit? If depreciation is expense, if depreciation debit, it doesn't mean that cash will be credited. No, because remember, depreciation is a non-cash asset. Uh, sorry, non-cash expense. Why it's a non-cash expense? Because we do not pay in terms of cash. That's the last last year my assets value was one thousand dollar. This year my assets value become $950. So $50 assets value reduce. That's called the depreciation. Right? So did we pay this $50 to someone? Of course. We didn't pay that money to someone. So it's not a cash. Alright? So by that reason, depreciation treated as a no cash expense. Alright? So if depreciation is direct, because it's expense. What will be credit? Of course, the assets which was one thousand dollar last year, that assets become nine hundred and fifty dollars this year. So that assets value reduce. So of course, assets credit. Assets credit because assets reduce. All right. So now let's do it depreciation on machine one hundred dollar right so depreciation on machine five accounts right so we have two accounts affect here first is depreciation right second one is a machine or machinery so two accounts affecting second Find accounts increase or decrease. Depreciation, of course, increase. 
machine accounts will decrease because value of machine goes down, which means machine as machine accounts reduced. All right. So, two accounts increase, decrease, depreciation, increase, machine increase. So, now we check here. Depreciation, as I said, that depreciation is expense, and expense has a debit nature. So, debit depreciation accounts and credit machine. Decrease. Machine is a assets and machine decreased. That's why machine machine accounts credit. All right. Amount is one hundred. That is the third journal entry. All right. Now move on to number four. Number four here. Number four is a borrow from bank. All right. Find accounts. So two accounts affect. When you borrow money from bank, borrow from bank called bank loan. All right. So one account is bank loan. When you borrow from bank, what banks gives you? Cash. All right. So two accounts affected here. First is bank loan. And second one is a cash. Bank loan and cash. When you borrow from bank, which means bank loan increase because you borrow from bank, your loans increase, your liability increase, right? And you borrow from bank, you, you receive cash. Your cash also increase too. Alright? So now check uh, five increase decrease already increase decrease all right. so what is convert increase decrease into debit credit all right so bank loan increase bank loan is your here bank loan is your liability it doesn't matter short short term loans or long term loan is always liability all right Liability. So li bank loan increase, liability increase. So which means bank loan will be credit. All right. Cash increase. Cash increase. Cash is your assets. All right. So cash increase. Cash is your assets. Increase means debit. So which means cash debit, bank loan, credit. So, debit, cash accounts, credit, bank, loan account, 
amount is 1,000. That is your number four. All right? That is the fourth journal entry. Right. Now move on to the next, number five, the last one. So number five uh, is a, a paid rent fifty dollars. All right. Two accounts affect which two accounts? What is paid rent? So rent accounts. Rent. How we pay rent? Of course, we pay rent in terms of cash. So, second account is affected is cash. Right? Find it already. Number two, file increase or decrease. All right? So, we pay rent is expense. Cash, when we pay, cash will decrease. All right? Convert increase decrease into debit credit. Rent is your expense. Right? Like here. Here. Expense cost. Rent is your expense. Factory rent, right? Or office rent. Right? So rent is your expense, and expense has a debit nature. Right? So rent, debit. Cash decrease. Cash is your assets. So cash decrease, assets decrease means credit. Credit. Alright? So that's the general entry for the last one. Alright? So debit, rent, account, credit. Cash account. Right? Amount is fifty dollars. That's all. That's all for journals. All right. So that's all about journals. Now journal is. Finished. All right. Now move on to the number three. Step three. Right. Step one is a source document. Step two is a journal. Step three is a ledger. So, uh, I think I can finish ledger and trial balance in in uh, today's video, right? So once I finish three and four, then I'll give you around five to 10 uh, journal entries, which means source documents. So that will be your homework, which is second, third, and fourth, because fourth is your learning outcome. I mean, one, two, three, four, that is your learning outcome one, if you have a look here, all right? That is your learning outcome one. Journal, ledger, trial balance. That is your learning outcome one. So I hope I will try my best to to finish learning outcome one today, and I'll give you one homework, and you will do homework. And in next live session, you will show me the answer. I will check your questions, and then I will move on to the assignment discussions and the the. The, the outline. Alright? Okay, so now move on to the ledgers. Now, what is ledger? Another name of uh, ledger is a T accounts. Alright? T accounts. Let me explain you.
So, ledger. Now, what does it mean, ledger? Another way to explain ledger is a ledger help us to classify the thing. So, it helps us to classify the information into particular categories. What does it mean? Okay, I explain you. Look here. You can see that we have five different um, journal entries, all right? By looking at these journal entries, can you tell me in few seconds that how much cash increase and decrease? What is? Because some cash increase in some transaction, cash decrease. So how much cash we have right now? Can you tell me by looking at these uh, journal entries? No, you need time to check one by one. All right, we have example of only five journal entries, but in organizations, maybe we have 50 journal entries, 100 journal entries, or 500 journal entries. By looking at 500 journal entries, how can we understand what is the balance of the particular accounts? We cannot, right? So by that reason, we have to classify these things into a particular accounts, like as here, like as here, raw material accounts, cash accounts, accounts, silver accounts, sales accounts, depreciation account, machine account, cash account already, bank loan accounts, rent account, and cash accounts already. So we gonna make a different accounts. We will divide in a category classification, divide it into different different parts. So the purpose is to get information of particular accounts within a few seconds by looking at the looking at the balance of that 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 particular account, right? So that's the main purpose to classify classifications, right? Now, why we call it T? Why we call it T? Because it has a two sides. One is a debit side, and another one is a credit side. All the items which debit affected will be right here, and credit, credit uh, T accounts. But actually, these T accounts looks like this. This is amounts. side, of course, this one is a debit side, right? That's, we, we call it uh, T accounts, right? So now let me write down how to convert journal entry into a ledger, right? So we're gonna write these accounts. Make every accounts gonna be prepared as a T accounts, all right? And one account we will not repeat again. We one account will be prepared only once, all right? Depreciation accounts, machine accounts. Make sure you 
do not repeat one account again. Right? Cash accounts, bank loan accounts. Cash accounts already, now bank loan accounts. is rent accounts and cash accounts. Cash accounts already, now rent accounts. Alright, so we already make the formats of the accounts. Now we will transfer all the numbers here. Alright, so be careful when you transfer the number. So first, raw material Debit, cash, credit. Raw material debit, cash, credit. So raw material debit because of cash. Cash credit because of raw material. All right. Amount is one hundred. Amount is. debit because of sales and sales credit because of account receivable. Right. Account receivable debit because of sales, sales credit because of account receivable. Amount is 50. because of machine machine credit because of depreciation ideas to transferring information into a T accounts. Alright? Now we're gonna make the balance. So here is 100, here is 50, here is 100, here is 1000, Here is 50, here is 100, and here is 50. Alright, so this one left, let me explain and then I will come here. Now, 
what does it mean? Raw material has a this side debit, remember, this side debit, this side credit. Left debit, right credit. So raw material has a debit balance. Account receivable has a debit balance. Depreciation account has a debit balance. Bank loan accounts has a credit balance. Cash has a debit balance. Machine, sorry, rent has a debit balance. Machine has a credit balance. Sales has a credit balance. All right? Now we check for cash. Look, credit balance is a 150. Debit is 1000. So which means 850 debit balance. All right? So I'll write down here 850 is a debit balance. Or whichever is the higher side. Right? So let's say this side, this, this one is this side 0, this side uh, 100, so debit balance. This side 0, you can write 0 if you want. Right? And write 0 if you want. Right? If you want. So that's the idea. So now you can see that By looking at these journal entries, we cannot understand how much is the balance of cash. Because many times cash in and out, debit or credit, right? But by looking at these T accounts, within a few seconds, we can recognize that our cash balance is a debit balance. So means debit means increase. We have cash by $850. That's the ideas behind the T accounts. But make sure when you are transferring the information, you do not make any mistakes. All right? Now, move on to the next step. So three is finished. Now we move on to number four. Number four is your trial balance. Now what does it mean uh, trial balance? <clears throat> we know that when we are transferring information from one account to another account, so one step to another step, we may make some mistakes. Alright? So in order to avoid any kinds of mistakes, in order to check whether we made any mistake or not, we gonna make a trial for the all kinds of balances. Make sure all balances have a right amounts. We did not make any mistake. Like this. instead of writing 69, we write 96. Instead of writing 25, we write 52. Right? So that's kind of common mistake people have when they are preparing accounts. So in order to avoid those kinds of mistakes, we call it arithmetic mistakes or mathematical mistakes. Numerical mistakes. In order to avoid that kind of arithmetic or mathematical mistakes, we gonna prepare a trial balance. Alright? So how trial balance look alike? So, so the main idea of the trial balance is debit balance and the credit balance must be equal because everywhere is the equal number so of course any kinds of debit sides or any kinds of credit side balance must be equal if it's not so means we made a mistake so we have to check one by one where we made a mistake maybe here maybe here or here we cannot move on to step next step until we find mistakes. All right? Yes, in some cases we can by preparing the suspense accounts, but I will come to this point later on when we do uh, assignments too. All right? But for now, keep in your mind that we cannot move on to uh, step five until we find the mistakes. All right? So how trial balance? Uh, look alike. So let me write down here, arithmetic mistakes.
arithmetic mistakes. In order to avoid any kinds of arithmetic mistakes, we do it this step four. All right. <clears throat> So, try that. Try that. So, how try balance looks like? So, it's going to be so. Debit, this is debit sides item for credit balance items, right? So here is the transactions right? So, so these balances we gonna write down there and we gonna check whether the balance of these above items are equal. To debit and credit. All right. So we start writing raw material. It's very simple. Just simply transfer here, like a raw material here. Raw material debit 100. Raw material debit 100. Cash debit 850. Accounts receivable. Debit 50. Sales. Credit 50. Depreciation. Debit 100. Machine. Credit 100. Bank loan. Credit one thousand. And next is the uh, rent. Rent debit is fifty. So we didn't make any kinds of arithmetic or mathematical mistakes. All right. So that's all about your trial balance. Right. So trial balance is finished. Uh, learning outcome. One is finished. All right. So in our next session, most probably live session on Zoom, uh, we will, uh, I will confirm you the time and the date for, for that live session. So it's going to be for maybe one hour or two hours before so, but, but, but before, before that live session, I will give you um, assignments, All right? So you can, you, you can do the assignments general entry like uh, until child balance and besides assignments now i'm going to write down uh, 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 some some yeah. transactions so you also do that transactions to, to practice and then next week when i give you assignments you will do that assignments all right so and then i will i will arrange a live session for you all right so um, let me write down for you the uh, transactions. <clears throat> so, homework. But make
make sure you, you do that. Right? Because I'll check this one in our next session. I'll ask you questions, random questions from any, any of you. So I'm giving you only 10 general entries. The first is the sold product, $1,000, paid interest, $70, received dividend, $40, paid wages, $20, purchase plans, $80, sold car, $100, purchase material on credit, $200, number eight, sold product on credit, 
dollars, nine out of eight hundred, ten percent of customer become bad ads. Out of one hundred dollar credit sales, ten percent customer become bad ads. Return bank loan fifty dollars. So let me explain you what is the meaning of bad debts. Uh, uh, you study, but if you do not know, bad debts means uh, when customer become bankrupt or customer do not return money back to you on time or or due date. Customer say that sorry, I don't have money to pay you. That customer become bad debts. So bad debts means you lose money. For example, bad debts one hundred dollar. Right. So what will be the general entry? Two accounts affect. One is a bad debts account. Second one is a accounts receivable account. Why? Because bad debts is your loss. So that's why bad debts debit. Credit will be accounts receivable. Why account receivable credit? Because account receivable reduces because you don't receive money back for their people. So let's say you have a uh, three people. All right. These three people are your accounts receivable, right? These are accounts receivable. In these three people, two people do not give you cash. Means they don't they don't return money back to you. So these two become bad debts. All right. So what does it mean? That how many accounts receivable left? Only one. So means account receivable reduced. All right, and bad debts will be debit. Why? Because bad debts is your loss. A loss always debit. Account receivable will be account receivable will be credit. All right, so. What happens the amount? Let's say amount is 100, 100. Right. So that's the ideas behind that debts. So here is the total the transaction. Make sure you try to do it. If you cannot, in the next class I'll, I'll give you answer for it. All right. So now I quickly uh, summarize the, um, the 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 lecture. So that is your uh, learning outcome one. Uh, sorry, uh, assignment one. In assignment one, you have uh, two learning outcomes. You already know that. And today we already finish task one and task two. All right. So this one, this one, and this one is task one. And this one is task two. So we studied accounting cycle. Of course, we study about types of accounting, internal external. We study about um, about accounting cycle, right? And source documents, journals, debit credit. How we do that? steps and some kinds of some rules that we, we should remember when we try to find out increase decrease why increase decrease means debit credit and uh, then later on we uh, looked at the the t accounts how we transfer the information be careful when you are transferring information from journal to 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 leisure right and then next is a trial balance in order to check whether we made any um, any kinds of arithmetic mistakes or not, we have um, uh, a trial balance. If the balance is equal, so means yes. Now we can move on to step five. Right. So that's called the uh, trial balance. And uh, what else we did? Yes, we also looked at the. Um, Types of uh, assets, liabilities, and what inside equity. Make sure you, you you remember that when you do your your um, your.
your writings. Alright? So finally, that is your uh, homework. Right? So you complete it. So and then you let me know. And hopefully uh, Monday I'll give you assignments. And uh, next week, maybe Thursday or Friday, we can. Normally we have class on Thursday, I guess. So uh, Thursday we can uh, we can have a live session. All right. And I will send you a link uh, to connect on the, on the, on the live session. You just click on the link and then you enter the ID and password. So automatically you will appear uh, on the on, on YouTube screen. So you, of course, and you, you all have to uh, join that meeting. All right. You, uh, Zoom meeting live session. If, if you will not attend it, of course, you're going to lose your some, some score in your assignments marking. Uh, regarding your assignments marking, I'm still in the process of marking your management accounting assignment too uh, because I received that uh, assignment last week. Uh, yeah, I think this week I received it. And uh, next uh, week, hopefully, I will give you results for your management accounting assignments too as well. Alright. So we stop here. So I will send you email for assignments and live session. Please send me email if anything you do not understand. Right? I'll see you next week. Thank you.